how's it going everybody and welcome back to another video today I've got this it is a tripod by the brand Joby more specifically it is the Joby Gorillapod SLR zoom it's got a quick disconnect adapter that you can stick on the bottom of a camera but this is not the biggest one they make the biggest one they make is the Gorillapod focus and this, this is not the Gorillapod Focus either. This is a, a exact replacement legs for the SLR Zoom. So I've had this tripod for about three years now and I just ordered some replacement legs for it. So I figured this would be a good video for me to share my thoughts and experience with this tripod with you guys. <clears throat> this is probably the most used tripod that I've got. It can attach to anything. I don't know if you guys can see this. You can pretty much stick it on something and it'll stay. So this goes with me pretty much everywhere my camera goes with me because I never know where I'll be shooting. If I do know where I'll be shooting, I'll bring either a full tripod or something specific to the situation. It's been on dozens of hiking trips. It's been to the lake. It's been to the beach. It's been on road trips. It has not been overseas, but I use this thing all the time. The problem with this system that they've got going on here with the ball joint legs is that they wear out over time. So that's why I had to get the replacement legs for it. The problem with having something that's almost, I don't want to say disposable, but you will use it up and it will stop working. This, it's not like, it's not like you're, you're abusing it and, it and it broke on you they will just eventually start failing you and you will have to get replacement legs in order to protect your gear because if you've got your camera, your thousand dollar camera set up sitting on legs that can't hold it, then you're gonna be in big trouble. <clears throat> See this one here, it doesn't move at all. Granted it doesn't have the ball head on it, but this one here, I mean, it's, it's not even close. So, almost three years old, brand new let me show you guys kind of a direct comparison for how much resistance these legs have all right so i've got a scale here which it's broken so it only works in grams but i've got the old gorilla pod here and the new one here i'm going to show you guys how much force it takes before the leg gives all right, so we're at 100 grams. So that was about 290 grams before one of the legs kinked on me. Let's do it again. That's about 230. Let's do it again. That's about 243. <clears throat> All right, now for the new Gorilla Pod. I'm going to just do it the exact same way I just did it. And now it's starting to give. It's not breaking free, but it is moving. That's about 900 grams. So that gives you an idea of how these things degrade over time. This new set of legs that I've got has got a, a large thread here and a quarter 20 standard. That is for, you can either mount your camera directly to this or you can mount a pan and tilt head on this or you can take the ball head the Joby ball head which is actually very good I've got no complaints about the ball head and what you do is there's a screw on the bottom right in here just loosen that up with the flat head and you screw the ball head back on tighten it up and you're good to go. So let me show you a few neat things that you can do with this tripod. One of the first things you can do with this is use it as a selfie stick. It actually makes for a very good selfie stick. For some reason, these legs are easy to hold on to and hold fairly steady. Some selfie sticks where they've got a little skinny handle, they make it tougher for you to hold steady. This does a very good job. Another neat thing you can do with this tripod is you can pretty much stick it to any 
surface you can wrap it around and with a new one once you get it nice and snug it'll pretty much stay that way and then you can adjust the ball head to fit your need So as you can see, you can fasten this tripod to a variety of different surfaces just by bending its legs and wrapping it around something. The rubber rings around the legs and the rubber pads on the feet are incredibly grippy and will stick to a lot of surfaces and keep it from sliding around. So this one here held a Nikon DSLR, the D7100 specifically, for uh, about two and a half years before it started getting too loose to where I didn't like using it. Uh, so that kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect out of it. If you're using a lighter camera, you can probably get more use out of it. I'm expecting to get a lot longer out of this one using the A6500. And this old one here will still be just fine for mounting up the GoPro and hooking it to various things. And it's good to go. Uh, something that you'll start noticing when it starts wearing out is that these legs pop off incredibly easily. You'll be trying to just adjust it a little bit and you'll bend it around something and the leg will pop off. And you'll pop it back in. There's pretty much one joint that always pops out on each leg and the worse it gets the more joints can pop off. So that's kind of an indicator as to uh, when you need to start saving up for a new one. Another thing to note is that as you use them they will get dirty. I don't know how well you can tell the difference between these two, but there's quite a difference in the rubber. The rubber collects dirt, and gets nasty, but I don't care. If you care, then you're not buying camera equipment for the right reasons. So at the end of the day, I would definitely recommend the Joby Gorilla Pod series. Buy one that suits your needs. Don't get the SLR Zoom for a GoPro only or for a cell phone. They make smaller ones. They make magnetic ones, they make suction cup ones, they make ones on wheels, I think. They make a variety of these different things, all the way down to something super tiny to hold like a GoPro session. One of my buddies has got one. His channel's right here. He uses the, the little the little tiny original Gorillapod for his uh, GoPro session, and it works great for that. Um, it will hold an A6500, at least when it was new it would, but it was, it was sketchy, so. I don't recommend it. DSLR zoom will hold a big DSLR like the uh, Nikon D7100 or those professional size bodies with I used mine with the 18 to 200 zoom lens which that's a big lens and it worked I would say very well for almost any application occasionally it was a little touchy but most of the time it worked perfectly. If you're going to use big professional bodies all the time with big lenses then get the uh, the gorilla pod focus all of these of which will be f linked down in the description so go check them out so the gorilla pod gets a thumbs up from me thanks for watching i hope this was informative and we'll catch you in the next one